Search is over for the man whose gunfire aimed at another person, hit and killed an innocent bystander, Morgan Dawkins, at this Detroit gas station Wednesday. She would have been 19 yeah. in October. Police arrested the 23-year-old on Thursday, a day after he and another man got into a verbal altercation near these gas pumps. When tensions flared, the suspect took out a gun, started shooting, hitting that man and a vehicle that Morgan and a friend were in. Both females were shot, but Morgan died from her injuries. You could see the holes in the vehicle, so he shot up the car with human beings, and he killed my granddaughter. The Dawkins family says Morgan's friend is recovering from her injuries, but their sweet Morgan, as they affectionately call her, will never get to fulfill her dreams or see her own child, three-year-old Riley Simone, grow up. She just turned three last month. Oh, she won't remember her mother when she get older. The family is happy to know an arrest has been made in this case, but it doesn't take away their pain. Yes, I'm a Christian. Yes, I'm saved. And yes, I say he don't deserve to live. The family says their hearts are broken every time they see crime victims in the news, but they never thought the story would be their own. And thank God, God, I don't wish this on nobody, but thank you, God. It is not my daughter this time. <laughs> this time it was my daughter. <laughs> and Morgan was innocent. She worked two jobs because she was determined to be somebody, determined to take care of her daughter. As this family tries to find peace, they say they're tired of the violence and they want to see gas station owners do more to prevent criminal activity on their property. And they shoot at this gas station all the time. They need to tear it down, burn it down, close it down, get rid of it, because the gas station owners are not responsible in making sure that these hoodlums not hanging around the gas station. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.